and thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the more interesting features that was added to Google Classroom a few months ago, and that is reuse post. Now, in this situation, I'm on my Google Classroom, and I have, at some point in the past, assigned this pretest to my students. It is a Google form that I'm using as a pretest. Now, after going through a discussion question and a video about the same topic, I would like to give a post test to see if students understand the content any better now than they did before. And so rather than have to go through and create a new post, I'm just going to create um, a post reusing that same post down here. So what I do is I go to the bottom right, click on the plus sign, and I'm going to choose reuse post. It asks me which class I want to reuse a post from. Now this is the great thing about this. It doesn't matter if I've used this post in this class or another class. And so if you've actually posted something in one class and then you forgot to add another class later on, you can reuse that post from, let's say, class A and put it in class D. But in this case, my post is in this class here. I hit select. And then the test I want to reuse is the cell theory pretest. But one thing I want to point out is I do not want to create new copies of any of the attachments. I want it to just use the same attachments from before. So I'll uncheck this box and click reuse. Now it's giving me the option to edit this. I'm going to change this from pretest to post test. And I'm going to post it. And so it puts that at the top of my stream and just a second here it'll give me the option to update my stream so that I can see it and if I scroll to the top I can see it is right here and it says cell theory post test so even though this is the same form that I used as a pretest uh, which is great because I can actually go back in by the date that was created by the timestamp and tell when they took the test um, it is now in two separate places it's the same post same link. I didn't have to go find that link and use it again. I just reused the same post. So that's just a quick rundown on how you can use reuse post in your Google Classroom class. Thanks for joining me.